Yeah. And it was a whole bunch of things going on too, like feeling like with the, you know, grabbing him up and all that. That, and, wasn't, uh, that wasn't too exposed. Look, that yeah. wasn't that wasn't too exposed brick as no buster or no shit like that. That was too exposed when he said we didn't want no funk with niggas. Like uh Gordy would have did this or he would have did that if he would have got snatched up. Gang, what are you talking about? Ain't none of them niggas in there. Oh, look, cuz I that's what I wanna say. <laughs> bro, let me keep it real, bro. Them niggas couldn't see us if it got cracking. T real. You got Brick right here, you got Gordy right here. Even if they uh, Brick whole shit falling down cut pants. Yeah. Why my brother grabbing cut? Gordy over there arguing with the security, then walk over while Brick getting held up, standing overlooking too. But I thought you said if Gordy seen it, it was gonna go up. It was up. And you got the internet thinking we bitches because you got the footage. And up, mm. he's stupid enough to let my brother, he gave my brother the footage, thinking my brother ain't, and then disrespected mm. us the next week. And then my brother was like, I wasn't even gonna put this out. But you saying we bitches and y'all would have flushed us and. That's on a dead homie's and nothing. We couldn't have got flesh. It was impossible. But why would you say that? I thought y'all was my friends, cuz. My brother was saying, Brick, calm down, cuz. Yo, kid in here, you saying dumb shit. You inviting niggas up here. Boom. But my brother was really hot the whole day earlier because Brick said that he tramped me on the phone. My brother said, what's up with cuz? I thought cuz was genuine cuz. I don't like cuz. He on him all day, low key. Yeah. Yeah. So when he did, he grabbing him on purpose, like, cuz, like, and then if you listen closely, he said, nigga, what you say about the set? Or nigga, uh, he, uh, you gotta listen close. He did. And then, nigga, I pay, pay attention. I walked up and grabbed my brother, like, my brother doing the most, cuz. Like, I don't like her doing the most, cuz, but I, I, I just let him do a little bit for a minute. And then Rick was like, DW, my, his shit was falling down there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool. I told my brother, get up off cuz. And then my brother told him and a security, both of you niggas come outside. They went outside. I'm like, cuz, I saw that dead homies. Can't no nigga tell me to come outside like that. <laughs> my brother and all. <laughs> Can't no nigga hey, tell me to come outside like that. Who is y'all talking to? I don't give a fuck how big you and right. I don't care how big a nigga is. I don't care if, like, you know what I'm saying? So for a nigga to be doing all that popping it, like, Niggas just playing us like we bitches, and I don't know why. Why are you trying to see more of dogs when we not? Like, There's a play going on. <laughs> we not you don't know nothing about the play, though. I'm the only play. nigga. They like, oh, DW, slow to the internet. It's not that I'm slow to the internet. It's that I just can't switch up today. Right. right. You gonna I, can't, give I can't switch up on you. I didn't like that shit, <laughs> homie. I like you, you know what I'm saying, Brick, your brother, everybody doing shit. And then when that shit just, it seemed like the cigarette shit just fucked everything up. It just crumbled mm -hmm. right there. And that might be my fault and that, right it, there. And it crumbled right but there. But I'm a gangster. You know what I'm but, saying? I hang out with the hoovers. I really hang out with the, the it, troubles, it, it, the A-trains. But it really ain't your fault. Because that's like, like, for prime example, if I was in Brick's shoes, I, I can't say like I don't, okay fuck it if I was in brick shoes and and you said that to me it ain't gonna go that way mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying because I'm 37 years old I'm 37 years old I'm gonna be like bro I checked him we hollered about it whoop he didn't mean no harm and no malice my nigga whoop, whoop. and my homies gonna respect me because they know I'm a whoop let him check it. Shut your bitch ass up nigga <laughs> who ain't gonna respect it nigga who ain't because gonna respect you me? you sat on this couch then you said well niggas did that live. Nigga, he was like, oh, nigga, yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I watched yeah. that. I said, I'm going to get out of nigga and yeah. do all that. Nigga, I'm going to get out of me. And all that. I'm going to get out of nigga. Look, so now you're telling me your story. I watched that. 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 I
You, you see, you would have had to get out okay. with the nigga right I there. I don't care. I don't care. Break yeah. Yeah. Ass. He we all Popeye in this motherfucker now. We wouldn't be his size. We ain't losing draw to you. I'm bitching to kill you. So, so now I'm, it's, not, it's, I'm not turning down nothing. You know that, nigga. Oh, I'm not turning down nothing. Nigga, I'll fight you. We ain't losing deals. I'm not. Bro. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you ain't telling me you ain't getting out with two kids. Listen, listen. No, no, no. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get out with Tiki because it's ranked. Not because of his size, because of respect level. I'm just, I'm just using it for. I hear what you say. You say don't get down with any nigga. With any nigga, that's my whole thing. But look, at work, <laughs> in that situation, the that situation was smooth. It did. Yeah, yeah. But they you both handled the situation smooth. It did. It's I loved outside. It. I loved it. You can't let those motherfuckers outside <laughs> persuade your judgment. We no, in position to win. I'm saying, oh, for real. I'm so much of a low. Can't no, ain't no nigga from my section or in the fifties gonna get at me and be like. Smack, we finna go up there, nigga. Niggas know how I rock. Niggas know how I nigga. Smack, open the door. We out here. You, know you need a DP. You know that's what they not gonna do. You know that. You know that's what they <laughs> not gonna do. Leg, look. I'm well nigga loved in my section. I'm a nigga. You know that, Terrell. I'm really a nigga in the 50s. Smack, come outside. Tell them we much. out here. They wouldn't even have to get there. I would have went to 51st to my mama house. Nigga, been on the front porch like this. No, no, no. See, and the thing is, though, like, even with me saying that, like, with, with Brick, I'm, he had to face 100 calls after that. I bet me man. too. Okay, once Brick say he tramped me, you know, all the homies got on my line. DW. It's over. Beside, the difference between me and other niggas, I left no jumper and went to the section. Yeah. My, my kid, like, people, like, you know, that shit, I got to go over there and, dip, like, handle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in a section all the time. I really have to deal with it, cuz. You could go and go duck off wherever you're going and chill and get on the internet. I'm going there, and niggas like, cuz, what's up with cuz? What's up, cuz? DW, we don't even know how to, we don't even know if we want you on there, yeah? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You about to crash yourself, and then you apologizing? I'm like, cuz. Like, mind you, I'm a... You I'm, see the bigger picture. Yeah, mind you, I'm a G, you know. Like, you yeah. know, so the homies can't just persuade my mind or tell me, like, we gonna smash you if you don't... But I'm gonna respect it because I respect the code. You know what I'm saying? But they like, all right, cause we've barely figuring out this shit right here, but call us the next time before you... Because I'm the type of nigga that could have 40, 50 niggas outside. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? When Cud did that, I could, and, I, and I didn't have to apologize, dog. I could have been like, nigga, it is what it is. 23rd Street. Mm -hmm. And everybody would have been outside. While he was crashing, nobody was outside. <laughs> they like, come up here. Come up here. Nigga, you must got AKs and shit outside. You don't? Because the niggas you telling coming up here, they going to come up here. You telling four extras in. And Spody, they on you, yeah. They going to come up here and do their <laughs> duties on you. You feel what I'm saying? And so... I'm, our whole thing was like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I actually wish the best for the nigga. It's actually a mental illness going on. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas don't even know that. Because if you could switch on anybody that fast and then see me again and be like, my brother, yeah. want to hit the drink? And then get on the internet like, yeah, them niggas ain't want no funk. Niggas on Nick Wood Creek. Nick, oh, you the hardest look. <laughs> you, must, you the hardest look. So with the, with the white man going crazy, you feel me? When you leave or whatever, he's saying some 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 shit. But you went back over there and you did an interview. Oh yeah, yeah, me and, and so, Adam. So you learning it? You so you learning it? You, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. see what's going on. I see the bigger picture. I see whatever. You ain't really serious. You all about. I was the clip. never really serious because <laughs> at first I was gonna leave and keep my podcast going. Yeah. Um, but I was like, it's summer. It's time for me to rap. You know, I got shit going on. Let me let me rap. And the podcasting just was doing too much. You know what I'm saying? It was doing too much with my with my character per se. Mm -hmm. But it really ain't affect me because I could laugh with the niggas. Like you know, I know you can change the narrative with this shit any day. Mm -hmm. I could I could knock a nigga out today and I'd be the hardest nigga in the world. Mm -hmm. Or I could go give shit to the kids today and you could tell that I you know I am who really. If you go to my page, I'm a motivational nigga. Yeah. So as I keep doing that now, my whole page, the comments and everything is going back to love this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm so happy that that aura is off you. You know what I'm saying? And even with Adam, I'm not mad at Adam. I actually, I used the platform up. 
to what I, the fuck I was supposed to use it up. People just saying my name for no reason. Because what about the allegations where you was trying to, you was charging motherfuckers to come once y'all got no y'all show? No allegations, nigga. Oh, so you really did that? I love that nigga. Yeah, I love that nigga doing that. Nigga, I did that. Nigga, what happened, nigga? Ain't no allegations, nigga. Talk about fuck, I'm gonna get my money. So you was charging niggas, niggas found out niggas were fucking with you, cuz? Nigga, niggas ain't find out until I left. Until you said it. Until I said it. So even if, like, how Adam was like, oh, um, you know, if DW charged you, y'all hit me up. I was going to have my young nigga who I charged to come up there, hit him up, and then still get the bread again. Right. <laughs> if you was going to pay them niggas back, right. yeah. I, I could have, because they loyal to me. You get what I'm saying? But you can't, what type of nigga knocks a nigga that you're barely paying? Mm. You get what I'm saying? If my young nigga, if my bro right now, I got homies who book features for me. If you book a feature for me, young, eat off of it. Yeah. I'm just saying, if I charge $2,500, cousin, you charge him $3,500, the rest yours. That's you. I'm happy for you. That's <laughs> what... But you, he can't be a real nigga, of course. Of course. You hear what I'm saying? So he like, damn, DW charged you. No, you looking at the wrong thing. You wasn't paying DW enough. Why would he have to charge anybody anything? You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, especially when niggas playing with my character, really... I didn't charge niggas way more than that. I didn't charge niggas, that, bro. I, <laughs> I'm type of my niggas weak and sh- the building could be stopped. Like you know what I'm saying for playing like that, dog. And I, but like I said, <laughs> I don't want to go too far. I'm not mad at Adam or nothing. I'm just talking about how I had to get mine and feed mine. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Cause I'm leaving here every day, and I I got a nigga up in here, a couple niggas up in here who they about to die behind the podcasting. Shit. Yeah. My baby mama was up in there pregnant while niggas saying, come up here, shoot it up. You got me fucked up, young. We finna run this chili out real quick. Why you thinking that you just feeding me crumbs? I'm just saying I'm eating real quick. Yeah. And then when you say it's time to go, that's smooth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's smooth. It ain't like I fell off the grid, nigga. I got, I'm going to go on tour September 1st. 